You're talking to me. Okay, what am I saying? You're just talking. Just start? Yeah. What I want to talk about? Yeah. So what I want to talk about is expectations. And I think it's frustrating me even more because I'm expecting something from myself. I'm expecting myself to look a certain way and I'm not pleased with what I look like right now. So it's frustrating. Okay. And I don't want to do that to myself. I want to be nice to myself. I want to love myself wherever I'm at. Hello, beautiful people. So today I want to talk to you guys about expectations. Let's get real here. I think expectations and comparisons are the thief of joy and freedom and love. As I am filming this video for you right now, it was very difficult for me to want to do this because I expect myself to look and act a certain way so that I can be accepted and can be loved, right? But first and foremost, I always say that I have to practice these things on myself, so that is what I am doing. I am pushing myself not to be anything other than ex loving and being as I am right now in this form. So bear with me today as I embark on this journey with you. Um, I read this quote that had said, you do not need to be everything to everyone. And it made me think how that can be flipped, right? Everyone doesn't need to be everything to you. I think as we get closer to people, certain friendships, certain romantic partnerships, we expect our partner to be mirror images of us. They need to like the same colors that we like. They need to have the same hobbies that we have. Our friends need to become their friends and their friends need to become our friends and after a while you lose your autonomy. But I think that's the beauty of being able to be in a loving, safe relationship. You get to still have yourself and your hobbies and your relationships with friends separate from them. And instead of expecting them to mold into who you are, you to mold into who they are, you can appreciate them for the strengths that they give you, right? Because you're two separate people. I think it's too much pressure to expect all of these things from someone. And instead, just being open and loving them where they're at, loving them for what they offer you instead of looking at them for what they can't or what they don't offer right that's the comparison that's the thief of joy can you love someone where they're at can you release expectation and appreciate someone for how they're different and the value they add to your life are you able to have healthy boundaries and compartmentalize in a healthy way with these relationships that you have, right? I think it's always a good reminder to reinforce the good in someone because then you'll only get more good, right? Remind them how and what they do that is important for you because you'll find the other things that you need from other people. It doesn't always have to come from one person, from one friendship. I think it's detrimental to yourself, and that means you're putting all your peace in someone. You're putting all your happiness in someone. You're putting all your pain in someone as well. It's not fair. It's too much responsibility. Too much responsibility to put all your expectations onto someone. I think that's something to think about, right? You don't need to be everything to everyone, and everyone does not need to be everything to you. Proof of that. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to others around you. As I am trying to be nice to myself today, I said a lot of mean things, and my cute little cameraman helped me through it. He helped compromise with me. He played to my strengths. He knew how to talk to me when I don't know how to talk to myself. I think that's what partnership is, right? Picking up where the other person left off. 
think about it that way. It might help. I don't know.